I could go back. I wouldn't change anything. The struggle made me, now we getting big money, and I split it with the family. <laughs> All right, fam, so I'm here at some horse races at the very edge of the town, and so they're doing some illegal horse races here, but never mind that. They're gonna be racing about 50 meters, you guys. It's this horse that you see over here on this edge and the guy over here on the other end, and they're gonna be racing a very straight line. Nada pero pura tierra roja aquí entre el mezcal. And uh, we're gonna be see we're gonna see who wins, you guys. I think it's gonna be a very good race. Uh, apparently, the guy that's back here has won already two times before against the same horse, same guy. But we're gonna see what happens today, you guys, because I don't know why he would do a third time if he doesn't think he's gonna win. We'll see right now. For all the people that don't know where I'm at, I'm in my uncle Loncho's ranch, you guys. It's a beautiful ranch. I've known it since the very first time I came to Mexico. The truck over here is actually what we used to ride on. It's a 1993 GMC Sierra, I believe. It's a very old truck, it's diesel. Super cool, great memories with it. And so, like, check out this beautiful ranch that my uncle has. Yeah. All right, Jay fam. So I'm back again with my cousin Moises. We're about to add some fertilizer to uh, el agave or el mezcal, más bien. And uh, he's gonna show me how it's done. This is like the highest quality avocado trees that you could find anywhere in Jalisco, man. These are very well kept, very, very well maintained. So each tree gives about nine to 10 boxes and each box weighs 25 kilos. So you're looking at almost 250 kilos per tree. And there's 1,300 avocado trees here, you guys. So you're looking at a nice little paycheck. Each year, the avocado trees give more and more avocado. So as long as they're well maintained and well kept, you're gonna be loaded. Check this out. That's a beautiful view, you guys. I love to see it, man. Look at that. Qué chulada, verdad, muy. Qué chulada, digo. Y luego hace poco fumigamos para este. So this is the button that my uncle's telling you guys about. This is where the flower is gonna come out, and each of these will eventually be in, a, in an avocado. This avocado you see here is very green, it's not ready yet, but by December, you're gonna be looking at about 150 grams per avocado, you guys. These are, these are the good ones. And there you guys have it, man. Esa es la huerta de mi tío Loncho Lopez. One of the calmest, yet most sincere and coolest guys I know. Oh, 
Ahí estamos, bro. Adiós. But today's a very special day. I got Brian in the passenger seat in the back. Johnny, Shaka, and Arturin. He's outside, he's in the back as well. And I'm driving Brincalo's car, you guys. You don't know how to drive, nigga. <laughs> Johnny, hasta la cachucha la tienes mojada, güey. Mira, mira la pinche gorra, hasta mojada la tiene. <laughs> no mames, Brincalo. ¿Por qué andas sudando tanto, Jonathan, güey? A ver, explícanos eso. La comió esta madre, güey, ve. Pinche salsa. ¿Cómo dijo, casera? No mames, güey, estaba bien pinche mojado. What's up, J-Fam? So I'm here in la terraza de Jonathan. It's a really nice view from here, you guys. You can see the mezcal behind. But look at this in front of me. You can see the rain is on its way over here, you guys. It's it's raining a little bit here, but it's on its way over. And it's coming from the top too, look. You can see it's wet up there, dry down here. Same thing on this side. Ya no? Ya te chiviaste? No, es que no andas pisteando, ¿verdad? Aquí es para venir a echar la reflexión, güey. Hey, ¿Cómo Bien, cuando es? Pero si es puta madre, no mames. Qué babosada, así se anoche. Todos los niños, soplale. Échale, niño. Soplale, niño. Por mi pronto. Déjalo, déjalo. Ya no hay. All right, J-Fam, so I'm here in Guadalajara with my brother Panchin, and so it turns out that I missed my flight, you guys. I was supposed to fly out 20 minutes from now. I was there 40 minutes early, and the guy told me I was supposed to arrive three hours in advance. I'll probably be leaving within two days earliest, but we'll see. I might stay here till uh, New Year's, you know? Two days later. Today is Thursday, August 15. I finally arrived to Chicago. You probably won't be able to hear me because of all the bus noise and all the vehicle noise, but we're finally here, you guys. It's been exactly nine weeks and two days in Mexico, and I'm glad to be back. Te <laughs> gané. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Extrañándote. <risa> ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Por qué tienes un tiradero aquí en la casa? Uy, <risa> Hola, ¿verdad? Allá adentro, espérate, allá adentro. Ay, 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 estás un desmadre. Uy. 